everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I am back with Nan. She is in the craft room. Say hi, Nan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know so many of you really enjoy these videos. This is the third time, I think, now, Nan. I believe it is. We yes. done. Yeah. We done a star card. Actually, it was a bit similar to this. Do you remember with the Wallace and Gromit? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. So we done them, and then we done Christmas cards. Uh -huh. Was it Christmas? Yeah, sure we've done some Christmas cards last yeah, time yeah. and then today we're going to be doing these pinwheel cards. So these ones are interactive ones and they spin around. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Really, really nice. And yeah. then you've got the same one again and this time you've got the writing on the front. And I like it's it. It's nice as well. It's nice because the, the writing stays straight and this moves. Yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah. So these are what we're going to make. So it's a, a design that's been around for a long time. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube. There's a couple as old as like 10 years ago. Um, and I actually saw these in a recent card making magazine. So that's what's given me the inspiration for today's tutorials. Plus Nan saw them as well and she thought they looked really, really good. So they're top folding cards and these are six by six. And what we're using today, let me just bring everything in, is this kit which I did share in my recent what did I get video and it was in Papercraft Essentials magazine and it's called Fresh Florals and you can just make it's just quick cards it says it's got all the pre-cut die cuts and the twine and all kinds of bits and pieces and all these lovely mm. bits and pieces. it's really pretty colours isn't it? Really is yes. So Nan chose some colours earlier <coughs> And these are the colours. Nan, you love red, don't you? I do. I'm very fond of red. Red coat, red yes. cardigan. <coughs> yes. Red yes. bags. Red bags, especially red, red bags. You've got lots of red bags, haven't you? But not red shoes. I, no. I don't wear red shoes. What about red purse? How many red purses yes, have I've you had brought? Two or three of red purses. Two or three, or maybe 20 to 30. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> You've got loads. So anyway, this is Nan's colours. She wanted the reds. I'll go through all the sizes and everything will be listed on my blog as normal. And then I'm going to go for these ones. So I've chosen these colours, Nan. Oh, oh, they're nice. Yes, they are. Pinks, Pinks and the turquoise. Yeah. Really soft kind of yes. pastel colours. And this is all inside <coughs> this kit. And I will link it below. And um, yeah, anybody you know that gets the Papercraft Essentials anyway, then you would have picked this one up. Okay, so I've got a 6x6 six six card blank. Then I have these mats and layers to go on top. So I've just selected the pattern paper and That's then nice, that pink. Huh? It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Your sizes are exactly the same as well. Mm -hmm. So this pinky colour is a piece of five and three quarters squared. And then the pattern paper is five and a half squared. And when it's all stuck on top of each other, you get a really nice border around. OK, so we're just going for just the nice, simple, just mats and layers with this card. And then for the actual pinwheel, we're going to have a white star and then we're going to have the pink and I'll go just there like that and then we're going to layer up all the paper on top so the white pieces here you want two pieces that are three and a half inches squared and then you want the pink pieces you want two pieces that are three and a quarter square and then you just want to choose your patterns that you're going to have for the pinwheel so you want four of each pattern okay so you see there I've got the stripes with the floral you could have polka dots with something you want kind of like a plainer simpler pattern and then a detailed pattern mm. something busy just so that you can actually see the, the designs you see there we've got a real kind of plain one mm. and then you can really notice that design and then with this one here again the stripes with the floral you just get to really see the effect of the pinwheel so just think about the papers and stuff that you want but that's everything you need and then um let's get i think this glue will be a nice one for you to use now because it's quite okay. easy to use and i'm going to use the kalau glue because I think last time, because this is clear, it's a little bit harder to see, but that's white, so you should be able to see that quite well right. on the, the darker card stocks there, and I'll help you. So first of all, remove all of these bits, because there's all your squares for the pinwheel. We just want to work on the, keep that one there for you, and then, so you want to make sure, get all my bits up there as well, that you have your card blank, so that's your one there, do you want to grab that one? All right. And we're going to have it top folding. You don't have to have it top folding, but um, I just think this style looks quite nice when you've got the fold along the top. Right. So just make sure yours is in that right orientation so we don't fold them upside down. Yeah, so you've got your yeah. fold at the top. Okay, so grab your red piece, Nan. I'm going to grab this pink piece here and pick it up. And you just want to pop some glue on the back. Now that's got a really thin... It's all right, pick it up. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if you just come into the mat a bit so people can see you 
That's it, no, they can see you there, that's okay, just come in. And then just cover the back of that card there with glue. Any side. Yeah, it's both the same. You see it come out? Just, just, just squeeze it as you go. Squeeze it quite hard. There we go, see it coming out? Yeah. And just go all the way around the sides and then you'll be able right. to stick that one down. And then you want to stick this down onto your card blank. So you've got a nice border like me. You see that white border? Yeah. All right. Oh, You're going. Oh, that's, right. yeah. Try oh, hang on, it no, dries, sugar. goes, no, you had it spot on then. Oh, did I? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, lovely. Perfect. And then you want to do the same with your pattern piece. So again, right. you might sh struggle a little bit to see the glue because it's white on the back, yeah. but just roughly, just go around the edges again like you did before. Just stick it on there and you want a nice red border this time. And you can stick that, put it down, you can kind of wobble it, you know, like wiggle it a bit because it's got the, the glue's quite wet. So if you just kind of, you see there, you can kind of move it a oh, little bit. Yeah, yeah, so you can move it around, make sure you're happy. I think you got a nice, you're happy that's, with your border? I am happy with that, I think, yep. yes. Okay, so we've just done all these, so they look really good. So next we're going to move on to our stars. So with these pieces here, um, okay, so grab the two white ones first of all now. All right, and you want to sit it on your mat so it's in a diamond shape, and we're going to use the lines on our mat, any oh, line. Yes, yeah, right. doesn't matter which one you want. Choose a line, line up the top, and make sure the bottom sits there, okay. Let me to move that across a bit for you. There we go, that one's in place, and you just want to move that one across. This bottom one here, you just yeah. want to push it across. There we go. Is that yep. it? Yep. And then with your other one, you want to grab your glue, grab your other white square. Oh, yeah. Just there. There we go. All right. And just put some glue in the middle, okay? Right. You don't yeah. want to go up into those corners no. or anything. And you're just going to sit it down. Again, using your grid, make sure that you've got. It all lined up. Pop it on there. On just here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's right. In a square there. shape. Yep. Yeah. Stick it over. Perfect. Oh. That's fine. You can lift it up now and then hold it up in front of you and you can move it. Oh, you just yeah. want to make sure that the triangles are all kind of the same. You want me to hold that on? Hang on. There we go. I just. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Happy there? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Then we're going to grab our pink pieces. Okay, and yours are the red ones. Again, put glue on the back of one of them, all the way over. You want this time you do want to go into all the corners. And then we're going to stick that down. So we've got a Little. nice. Yep, all of the corners and the sides. Perfect. And then you want to grab your other one, and we're going to then use that to cover Same those other corners. Procedure. Yep, all In your the corners, corners and down. Yeah. all the sides, just cover as much as you can. Right. And then that one there, I'm just going to pop a little bit in the middle, oh, just yeah. so it doesn't lift. There we go. Yeah. And then this one you want to stick, so forget that, imagine yeah. that's not there, yeah. just focus on this white square. You right. want to cover that now. And again, you want to have those nice little um, edges. So come up a little bit higher. There we go. Okay. And then just move it a little bit. So if you hold this up, can you see there where it's not, there's no border? Oh, yes, yes. If you want to just move it. Move it off. Like that. Yes, yeah. Do you want to just oh, wiggle that... it around until you're happy? Yeah. Well, it seems fine to me. Okay. Yeah. Right. So now when we put that against here, you see how nicely it pops. Oh, if you hold, put yours against your red one, you'll really be able to see your white frame of that star. Um, and I just think it looks really nice. You see, once we stick that on there. Oh, definitely. Yes, I can see your point. Definitely. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Yeah. Okay, so back to the star again. So now we want to grab our squares, all of these here. And I may have given the wrong measurement for these at the beginning, so I'm just going to... So these are one and a half squared. I think I said one and three quarters. So you want four. I've got this little... You also have got like a little polka dot on those ones, Nan. They look yeah. white, but they're, um, they have got a very faint pattern. Mm, and have. then they're your four patterned yeah. ones, all right? So first of all, grab a patterned one and flip it over. And you just want to add glue to just the right-hand side. So it's in a diamond shape. Right hand. Side. Yep. That's it. And then 
but come down like a diamond. See my diamond shape now here? I'm adding yeah. glue to that triangle on the right. So if I hold yours for you, if you come up here, so you, you want to come down as if you've got a triangle. Oh, oh All right. I'll get you. No, yes, yeah, that's fine, yeah. don't worry. Like that, so we've got enough glue. I'm going to take a little bit of that off for you. Yeah. Gonna, because what's going to happen is, this side where we've put no glue on, we need to be able to tuck something underneath it yes. at the end. Yes. So this one, I'm just going to help start you off. But we're going to stick that like this. And we want to see that little border, that yes. red border. You yeah. want to aim for that on every one of those corners right. as we go around. Right. And then this last one, we'll be able to pop mm -hmm. one of these under as we get to it. So I'm just going to do the same with mine. I'm just going to stick my one right in that corner at the top and just make sure you have, I'll just bring it up so everybody who's watching can see. You just want to get a nice little balanced kind of border there. So now you want to grab a different pattern. So you want, you'll want your polka dot one next because we're going to do a pattern right. and then one of these pattern and so on. So that's the back, that's right, yep, that's what you, and then this time you want to add glue over all of it, okay, right. so just cover as much as you can. And then you want to work on this corner up here now, and just make sure you've got a nice little red border at the top there. Okay, so if I just, if you, you're better off holding it that end, oh, so right. you can see, look, I can True. move that and you can see, oh, and then you yeah. can just push it with that finger, and then you, you want to push the rest down, yep. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Look, if you always hold it up and look at it that way, you want to make sure your borders. Maybe we can go a little yeah. bit that way. How about that? That's better. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then if you just turn it each time, and then you always want to work on the one that's at the top. Oh, so yeah. now you want a pattern piece again. So I'm yeah. going to grab this one. So me and Nan are going to carry on doing this and we're going to just cover our star and then when we get to the last one we'll be back to tuck it underneath this one here. Okay, so Nan's gone, we've just gone and done all of Nan's. You really like it, don't you? I do, I do very much. You see how that cut, the, it's just a cool pattern, isn't it, mm. when it all comes together? Yes, it's lovely. So everybody should be up to here and you will have the one you started with, you'll have half of it stuck down. So I'm just going to kind of fold that back a little bit and you're just going to stick your last one down exactly the same way, just making sure it goes underneath that last piece. I'm going to make sure I've got my stripes the right way. Like I'm so. Very pleased. Looks lovely, isn't it? Mm. I really like this. And then with this one here, you just want to pop some glue just on the back there, like so. And then I can just fold that one down. Two really pretty pinwheels. Oh, cool. Okay, so the the spinning part is optional, but I do love cards when they move. I just think it's a little bit fun. I think Lisa might like it as well, yes. won't she? Yes. So if you don't, if you're not bothered about having it spinning, I would suggest maybe just putting some foam pads on the back or not. If you know some people don't like to add too much bulk or dimension, but you can now just stick this onto your card. You know, you might want to have the plain pattern as a square a part or the pattern there in the square, or you might want to have it kind of on an angle like that. So you've got the two points on each side. So just play around with your positioning, but because ours are going to move, it doesn't matter which way they are because they're always going to move. Now, if you wanted to, you could, and maybe, yeah, we should have done that, I guess, but you would just stick this and the pink one and don't stick the pink to the white until you've hole punched your holes through. But it, it it's really doesn't make that much of a difference. But I've got this here, which is just going to allow me to do a hole punch. Or you can use the screw punch, which is this one here. I know many of you have. And if you don't have that, you can just use a pokey tool, which is somewhere, but everybody, we all have a pokey tool. I've got this one here, which is not a pokey tool. It's my um, weeding tool for my Cricut. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole through there. I'm going to do mine first, Nan, and then you can do yours. It's quite a fun little gadget. But I'm yeah. just lining up. If you... For anybody that's not got this, can you see when I squeeze it down, there's a light, there's a piece here. You oh, see that moving? Yeah. That's a one eighth of an inch, yeah, hole punch, and then you've got a three sixteenths. Mind me of my motorbike. <laughs> the shape of it. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly. Can, I can what and this is the person <laughs> sat on it. Yeah, that's a person maneuver yeah it? i can see that i can see it it's a funny thing actually oh, it's just really dear. good this allows you to punch holes through 
like a really really thick you know gray board yeah. um you know just very very even some of the balsa woods like the softer wood you can go through it as well but i'm now gonna oh it shouldn't be that hard very good but now i've got a hole through there so if i line yours up for you you can push down on it so i'm just gonna make sure i've got it there right do you want to push down go on go on go on yeah oh, gosh <laughs> There we go. Look at that. So now we've got a hole through there. So next what we want to do is open up the card. Okay, so you've got it, the top part facing away from you. Okay, because you don't want to, just lie it down like I've done mine. Oh, right. So turn it over so you can see your pattern. Oh. Just lie it down like mine is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh dear, sorry darling. Simplest things now. I oh, know, yeah? I oh, know, sorry. You've just put this really intricate design together, oh, no. but opening up the card was a really hard thing to do, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, right, dear. what we're going to do now, oh. you crap me up, is with a pencil, we're going to lay this down. It doesn't matter which way it kind of is, but we're just going to sit it down as long as it's within our square. And I am, I'm going to keep it like that just so I can make sure I've got an even border. And then I'm just going to mark a pencil mark in the middle. Okay, so there's the pencil. If I sit yours down for you, are you happy? Yes, kind of I am. Where yes, that is? Yes. Do yes, feel I like am. you need yeah. to move it any other way? I think it's okay. No, I don't think so. No? I'll hold it there for you. Do you want to then, in the middle there, that's it, go right in that middle hole and just draw a pencil mark. Perfect. That's it. And then, again, I'll pop it in for you and you can push it down because I think it's quite difficult to see it under there because that pencil mark, I can oh. just about make it out. But that's it there. Right, do you want to push it down? See, that was a bit easier. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Perfect. So now we've got our hole there. And that hole will sit perfectly with that one. And we're going to put a little split pin through it in a moment for it to spin. So I'm just going to do the same with mine. Then I've got a little tray of brads here or split pins whatever you want to call them it doesn't really matter the color but i'm guessing you're going to want red yes i, I would like red <laughs> so we've got a nice red shiny one there oh lovely or if you wanted to you could oh, have nice. that as your decorative because i mean you could either use something that matches the kit yeah. which is that flower like yeah. i've done there or you could have the brad i mean i've got there's a heart there as well heart would be oh i'd like there's he a likes little, hearts. There's a red heart. Lisa likes hearts. Let's see how that looks. There's the heart. Yes, that's nice. I like that. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so I've popped it through there. Do you want to pop it through that hole? Do you think you'd be able to get that one there? So sit in fact, sit it on sit that on top. If I hold it. Anyway, can you do it, manage it all? And then it doesn't matter it's gonna move, isn't it? Oh, it yeah. won't matter. No. And then you want to... Oh, no, I think it. it's going to be easier for you. If I line it up on this one... So... There. Okay, now you can pop that pin through both. It's quite fiddly. There we go. And then, if I hold the back for you now... Can you see where you split it apart? Oh, Do you remember yeah. using these? Do you want to split that one open? I don't remember using... You just pull one side. Oh, oh of course, yeah. Like so. So now, we spin it around. Look at that. Isn't that good? <laughs> no, I, I am. I'm, I'm over the moon with that. Well, we haven't finished yet. We've got to pick no. a nice sentiment for the inside and we can use some pattern paper as well. So I'm going to just use... So I'm going to do it a different way just so that, you know, people that are watching can see other ways of doing it. So I'm going to use a light pink there. I'm going to pop that one in there and that one actually Very before good. i do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to put a sentiment on mine and we keep yours that way at least then people can see two different ways of doing it so on the front of this one i think i'm going to do have the most wonderful birthday in the Aww. middle of that one so what i've been doing is i've got my hot glue gun on here i'm going to put a bead of hot glue just on the top of the split pin and then i'm going to put the sentiment in the middle there and just let that dry like so. So now that's lovely. I can pop that through there. Yeah. I can pop that one through there. And then I can open up that. Oh, 
good. And then to cover this, so this is what I mean. Now, if you just put it through this pattern piece and the pink, now I would say add glue to the pink piece and stick it onto your card base so you haven't got the hole through here. But we've just done it a bit differently. So what I would suggest is I've got a knuckle punch here and I'm just gonna grab some, here's my scrap card. I'm gonna just do one for you, one for me. And then I'm just gonna grab the hot glue nan and just pop it on there. And then I'm gonna do it so that you wanna get your heart the right way up, because this actually won't move. We're gonna put the hot glue and that over there. Okay. So it still looks fine and it's on that side of the card and we're going to put some nice decoration on there. But now this moves oh. but the heart stays the same way up. Lovely. Isn't that lovely? Oh that is. I'm so pleased with that. She's going to love it. And then what I would suggest is we'll just burnish the top there because we've opened it up and stuff. But now that stands really oh, nicely. Oh it's lovely. Isn't it? So now I'm just going to do the same with this one. Mine moves and my have the most wonderful birthday stays facing the right way up. Aren't they gorgeous cards? Aww, really pretty, aren't they? They are. Again, just give that a good burnish. How wonderful is that? So then I've got the twine and it's up to you if you want to, but do you like, I've just kind of threaded it through the top, yes, wrapped it around yes, and you've just got nice. a little bow. No, I like Do you want to add that? I'm just wondering whether I get you a different coloured twine because it goes with, where did I put it? Here it is. Kind of goes with mine well, because it's got the turquoise, but I'm not sure. I don't oh, know. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, it's got, I guess it does. Well, it's part of the kit, so. Yeah, it's, it's got a... Or would you rather me look for a red? Red and white? Well, no, no, if you haven't got... No, I have, I've got red and white. Okay, I'll have, I'll have to All right, I'll go get white. a red and white for her. Where are you gonna go with that? There. Oh. <laughs> I'm just popping to the shop now. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay, so just pop to the shop to get to get <laughs> Nan <laughs> to get oh, Nan the red dear. twine. Oh, okay, so oh. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with mine and then we yeah. can do yours. Okay, oh, so dear. all all you do, it's a nice way of doing it because it's it's almost like an afterthought because you've done all the card but you can still attach this. Yeah. You just wanna wrap it under and then around oh. and then back around again. And then I'm just going to pop a little bow in the top corner. Just got a little bow. A nice little bit of tea detail at the top. Oh, oh yes, yes. Pretty, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so, <laughs> want to do yours? Okay, I'll open it up. You grab your twine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're going to go underneath. That's it. And then go with this one. Go right over and back under again. Hold this end, not this end. You want to keep this end. And <laughs> hold, the, end. hold that end. Keep oh, that where it is. Right. That's it. And then all the way back round again to meet up. Perfect. So now, do you want me to do the bow for you? Yes, please. Okay. It's a little bit fiddly because we haven't got a yeah. lot left here, but it's fine. We've got enough. But it just gives you a little, I don't know, just a nice little bit of detail. And okay, so we're going to decorate the inside of Nan's. I think I'm going to leave mine because I've got the sentiment on the front. That's just ready, you know, for someone to write. Have to get that off there. Oh, there we go. Um, inside there. But if you do want to decorate the inside, this is a piece of five and a half by five and a half, and we're going to stick that in there. And then we've got a piece of five by five, which we're going to stick there. And you've got that nice frame. Yeah. And then we've just got one of our, our one-inch circles, and we've got with love there. Oh. And you could even have it up in the corner like that, and then just write a nice message there, maybe. Would you want it in the middle? No, I'll like it in the middle. Okay, yeah. perfect. Right, so you just want to add your glue to the back of that one, stick it down, and then that one, and then that one. And then we are done. So we're nearly finished, but we want to add some bling, don't we? Got to have a little bit of sparkle. Yeah. So this is my sparkle draw. Oh. What would you like? I've got everything um, here really. Oh god, that's we've got so nice. what we got here. There's some that's reds. Pretty. Um yeah, reds. Wanna, yeah pick out the reds. Deal. There's some oh. red ones there. Oh, what about red hearts? 
Yes, yes, definitely. Put a couple of them yeah. in the corner. She does like hearts, Lisa. Okay, does. so you can do those. And where do you want to put these? Do you want to do uh, one in each corner? Do you want to just do one up the top? You could just do one big one. Yeah, one big one. Because you don't I want think. to interfere too much with. No, you don't want to stop that moving. No. One big one would do. You could do one in in the inside perhaps, as well. Perhaps in the middle of. Oh. Well, I don't know. Can't go there, I don't no, think, so I think no, it might stop, stop it moving. It, yeah. You could do a smaller one up there, or you could do a big one up there and then a smaller, a big one down there as okay, well. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, what do you think? Like you just said, on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so peel, peel off the big one there then. It's just a sticker. Oh, is it? Yeah, just peel it off and then you can stick it oh, it's wherever sticky. you want. But just try not to get it near the, um, the pinwheel moving. That's it. Oh, that is very yeah. good. I didn't think they were sticky like yeah. that. Yeah, and then there's another. Do you want to do one in the corner, bottom corner as well? Or do you want to leave it like that? It's up to you. You hold it. No, I think that's enough. We'll just move it up because the bow's going to come. Yeah. Do you want to move it down a little bit? Because the bow the bow drops oh, down yes, over it. Yes, it does. Yeah. Do you want me to move it down a little bit Can for you? Can you move it down a bit? Yeah, you've got a little bit of wiggle room. So what, should we have it like that? That's it, lovely. Oh, smart. See, it catches too. the light there. Pretty. Yeah, it does catch the light. Okay. Very nice. So that is yours. You can just see them. They catch the light. A little bit of dimension Ooh. there, just to add a little bit of interest to the bottom of the card. Very They're pretty. Nice. Really oh, nice. Very pleased. The most enjoyable. Well, there, there are our lovely cards. Yes. So there's a few there for uh, those that are watching, just to see kind of how they all look mm -hmm. I think they all look really nice so you can have them with the sentiment or as Nan's done there just the really nice design on the front and then we've got the sentiment inside what was the fun part about what was the most fun about making this card then what have you enjoyed well just just being here and you teaching me oh. I, I, I feel as though you were my teacher for oh. the day am I a good teacher oh you are good. bless you I felt <laughs> Mm. Oh, I felt as though I was back to school again. <laughs> I don't know if that is a good oh. thing or not, is it? Well, I didn't... You liked school though, I'd didn't you? Some of it, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're a good teacher. Oh, you thanks, really man. are. And I lo love to listen to you oh. on your... On YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, she watches me on YouTube now when she goes over her sisters. They I'm, put... I'm extremely proud of, <laughs> of my granddaughter. Oh, I really thank am. you. That's Paid. really nice. Thank Paid you, Nan. Punch. Thank you very much, Nan. Right. Okay, so, do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye, everyone. Do you want to say thank you for watching? And thank you for watching. And you want to say... Myself and my lovely granddaughter. And then you need to say, if you've enjoyed today, please give the video a like. Oh, yes, if you have enjoyed today, please give it... <laughs> a like. A like. Yeah, and subscribe. And subscribe. I'd love you to do that. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. For those of you that have followed me for a long time, I know um, many of you have requested that oh, Nan return. It. So I hope you've enjoyed today's um, fun tutorial. Oh, I've absolutely loved it. And I've loved having you here. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Yeah. Bye. Bye.